man, I, I don't even know where to begin with London, England. England was a place that I just, I mean, I didn't know much about it, to be honest. But going there, I knew they spoke English, and that, that gave me a little bit of confidence. Being like, all right, this shouldn't be too much of a, a transition or culture shock. But the culture there, I mean, London was such a diverse city. I still uh, am blown away with just thinking about how many people I was able to you know, rub shoulders with or even ride the tube with. Uh, living in a big city, you know, living, breathing, working, you became part and got to call yourself for a few weeks like a true like London um, citizen. I was looking to do an internship that would look good on my resume, but also just give me real world experience and my own stories about um, working as a marketing major. So when I found the internship in London, that was part of another program that was offered at the Center for International Education. And that was something that caught my attention. The company that I interned with was called ISMM. It stands for the Institute of Sales and Marketing Management. I received um, nine credit hours from doing this internship. I got my business intern, my, uh, one of my business electives knocked out as far as the internship. I was also able to take a course that applied to my international studies certificate. My duties as an intern at ISMM varied um, day to day. Each day I went in, there was a new task for me. The company that I worked for was actually rebranding. So I know I said ISMM, but by this time they are now ISM. So they, they were dropping one of the M's and that was really, really rewarding being able to see how a company of that size is able to go about rebranding, notifying their current customers, and looking at what role I was able to play in that. I had to get a royal charter, which is something that is the highest title that a European business can hold, and it's issued by the queen herself. And I was responsible for finding out the application process and understanding what we needed to go through as ISMM in order to receive the Royal Charter. The biggest challenge for me as an intern was getting over my own fears. Uh, it was important for me not to doubt myself. I was a little intimidated when I would have to call people on the phone and they tease the, the shy American on the other end, but it was all good fun. And I was, uh, I was uh, challenged every day and it was something that Looking back, I got a lot out of it that I still use to this day. The biggest benefit as an intern at ISMM is the contacts I made. Uh, I had an amazing staff that I worked for, the company. I was a part of their senior leadership team. And day to day, we worked like right across from each other. We shared uh, desk space. And this was with the CEO, the director of sales, and the director of foreign relations. And they also did a really great job of, of just um, showing me that my opinion mattered. I highly recommend anybody and everybody, no matter what your major is, to participate in an internship and or a study abroad experience. One of my favorite quotes, it is from Lone Survivor, and it says, anything in life worth doing is worth overdoing. Moderation is for cowards. That's my mentality when it comes to going back to London. So uh, I've been very fortunate to find a program that is offering summer school courses that I need to graduate. So this summer, I'm going back, I'm going to spend a month at Kingston University. I'll be taking a, a class called London, a global enterprise, and I'm gonna be getting the course equivalency to international marketing.